Now, in this video, we're going to look at how to calculate profit margin. And to calculate profit margin, we need two things. We need the sales and we need the profit. Now, uh, we can calculate profit margin for each individual day of the week. Um, but uh, generally, we really uh, are most interested in what the profit margin is doing overall. And so the calculations that I'm going to make for this example are just from some of our overall averages. Um, because it will most clearly illustrate the key points that we need to make here. Now, at the end of our sales and um, profit table, I have we have the totals, we have the overall daily averages. And so I've created a column for the profit margin. Now, the profit margin, as I noted, this is in general the prof the sale the profit value the the core and the divided by the corresponding sales value. So we can actually use pretty much any of these, the totals or the overall average, or any of these other ones that cover the whole time span in order to calculate the profit margin. So to illustrate this, I'm just gonna use the um, overall daily average in this example, uh, but the total, using the totals will give you the same result. So I'm gonna find my average for my original department at, for the, um, sorry, I want this, the profit first. Um, profit, daily average profit. And I'm going to divide that by the overall sales. Now, the way that you can tell whether you've done this correctly is that you get a number less than one. Profit margin is always, always a number that is between zero and one. If your cost is equal to your sales, you've made no profit, you get a zero profit margin. If you have no cost, then your profit is your entire sales value, and then you can get 100%. But it can't be any bigger than that. Now, we don't need to display all these decimal places. We really just need a percentage. And so we can format that as a percent using this format, um, this percent formatting button. Now, it's fine to display lots of extra decimal places here. They're really not necessary. You can increase uh, the number of decimal places, or you can decrease the number of decimal places with these two buttons. I'm going to make it just the whole number. Um, there may be small differences in profit margin, um, different than the percentage, the whole percentage here, uh, but they're not really that important. Um, the differences in the profit margins are going to be large enough that we're not going to be worrying about things that are tying or anything. And once you've created this this formula, again, because all of our tables are organized consistently, we can then copy and paste, just drag this down the column. Now, one sort of caution to keep in mind about calculating profit margins is that profit margins cannot be added to get a total in the same way that other values can be added to get a total. So if I wanted sort of the general profit margin for the whole store in this case, the average of everybody, different departments make different amounts of money. So these are not all equally weighted percentages. So to calculate the overall, we would actually need totals for each of our sales and our uh, profits. So I'm going to go ahead and calculate those so that I can calculate that profit margin. The sum of my profits, that'll be my total. And then I also need the sum of the sales. And then I have the numbers that I need to calculate the overall profit margin. And that's going to be my profit divided by my sales. And again, we will want to format this as a percentage. Uh, again, you can choose to use um, all of the decimal places, two of them. They don't necessarily have to all be the same. 
um, but it is easier to do the comparison if they're all the same number of digits. So we can see that since our sort of overall store profit margin is around 26%, we have a couple of departments that are outperforming that. And then we have a couple of departments that have narrower profit margins and are underperforming that average. Now we can also calculate the profit margin from any other place that we have sales and profit corresponding amounts. And they all should give us the same value, regardless of how you calculate them. If you've calculated them correctly, they will give you the same amount. So let's actually calculate the profit margin here. This time I'm gonna use the weekly average. This is the overall average for um, summing up all of the days and then averaging them for each week. Or in this case, uh, we calculated them in the reverse way, averaging each day of the week and then adding up the daily averages. But still, it represents an average that represents all of the data. And so if we calculate the profit divided by the corresponding sales, we get basically, we get the same value we got before. And uh, if we drag that down, and then we reformat as a percent, we have exactly the same percentages that we had in the previous column. And likewise, if we wanted to calculate an overall profit margin for the whole store, what is the average? What is the total? We would have to calculate it from the corresponding total profit and the corresponding total sales. We could not average these or add them up or do anything like that. Anytime you get a profit margin that is more than 100%, um, that's wrong. That's not a profit margin anymore.